are in the Jason Shaw offices. That's our director not approving shots or trying to make the Jason show a little better today. He's fixing his glasses. What you didn't see was four seconds before Leo started, the host of the show was also fixing his glasses. How's that working out for you? I can't get it in there. If I was going to do TV, I was never not going to be myself. Where are the people who are a little bit different? You're sitting next to one on the couch. So let's just say that. Try not to suck today. Now, here's Jason. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to the Jason Show, studio audience. How are you today? Good. Thank you. Good. Full house today. Welcome to the show. I'm Jace. Let's start with this. Now, if you know anything about me, um, influencers sometimes drive me crazy. Now, not the good ones, but the, 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 the irritating ones. So this story out of Vermont makes me so very happy. There's a town in Vermont. We can't pronounce the name of it, so we're just going to say a town in Vermont. A town in Vermont wants to ban social media influencers this fall. <laughs> the whole town. Nobody, they don't want anybody there that, that has TikTok or anybody. They say that the influencers clog up the roads, clog up businesses while taking fall photos. So the townspeople, this is not a joke, voted this week to block off the roads and hired sheriff's deputies to make sure that the influencers stay out of their town. They got a check. I just want you to know that we did none of that here. If there's influencers here in the audience, we're thrilled to have you. And we're very happy to have you. Let's start, Leo. Roll it. Here we go, everybody. Okay, filling in as I slide right off my chair today. <laughs> filling in for Kendall. Give it up for Miss Shannon, everybody. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I am grateful to be here. I'm uh, grateful to be here. Uh, look at you. You know what? I'm trying. I'm in fake it till you make it mode because this has been a rough transition back to school this year for me and my kiddo. So I'm like, I'm gonna brighten up everything. I'm exuding all of that this. That is yeah. sensational. Yes. Is that new? That. It is new. It is new. You look real good. Thank you. I will choose to buy from this retailer again since you like it. So thank uh, you. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Give them a shout out. Who did you get that from? Oh, this is from PoshShop.com. So oh, okay. PoshShop, yeah. Posh, yeah. Yes. And then I took it to my girl and I said, just bring it in a little bit. And that, you got made, me, that made me feel good. It made yeah. me feel good that I had to take it in a little bit. I was like, ooh. I say this all the time. I don't think people use tailors enough. You need a tailor, no matter, because they're like, oh, that doesn't look right on me because it's not made for you. It's made to go on a clothes hanger. So you have to get it set for you. Yes. Spend the extra, buy it on sale, and then spend the extra $40 to have it tailored. It's not, because it's not as expensive as people no, is. It's, no. it's so, it's, it's worthwhile. I'll get polos taken in at the fair. I'm not, oh. Yeah, I, <laughs> yes. but polos, they, they, every polo. Polo is boxy. Yes. Every single polo they is do boxy. Do not accentuate your shape. You no. are right, Jason. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So coming up on the show today, I got to <laughs> tell you, this is a trip. Coming up on the show, we're talking. What is he? The CEO, Jeff? The CEO? The the big wig? I don't know. One of them. One, yeah. of, them, one of the big wigs of you know what Funko Pop yes. uh, statues are? The little yeah. Okay. Nah, the audience isn't so sure about that. But anyway, you'll know what they are in about 40 seconds. So Funko Pops uh, are all around. People collect them. I have several, I think, on the set somewhere. Well, in, in preparation for the interview, the Funko Pop company made a Funko Pop of me. Nice. Uh, yeah. So here we go. We're going to debut. I feel like Mog I feel like a Mugwai is going to be under here. <laughs> yeah. There he is. Oh, 
<laughs> that uh, is perfect. Yeah. Leo, Leo, why is that shot weird? <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. It's oh, look perfect. at that. I have a microphone and a hot dish spoon. Yes. Look at that. And your glasses are perfect. That's look wonderful. The, look at that. I, my receding hairline's pretty good on this. <laughs> I'm wearing a blue suit. Mm -hmm. Isn't that That's fun? Wonderful. Yeah, there's one more. We'll post it on social. They That's did a pretty good That's job. That's wonderful. It's wonderful. Look at that. I love Funko Pops. I have too many of them. That is great. I That's want, great. yeah, I want to start collecting them for the show. Yeah, so, they're yeah. so cute. Oh, and I love it. I showed my mom this yesterday, audience, she and she was, where can I buy that? Toys R Us <laughs> or whatever? Like, mom, you can't buy it. It's only, it's only, it's only for me, so I'll, uh, maybe I'll get her give one. Give it to your mom. I'll give it to her. Yeah, 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 I'll give her, the, they made one uh, hipster, Jason, and I'm like, they obviously do not know me because I am not. Yeah, there we go. It's a little one that shops at Whole Foods, but yeah, there we go. Let's get started, everybody. It's time for the hot dish. Roll it, Leo. Let's get started. Boom. Yeah. Get rid of that. Okay, while we wait for the return of new TV shows, we have to settle for celebrities trying to dance. <laughs> That's all right. The 32nd season of Dancing with the Semi-Stars debuted on ABC <laughs> last night with what? 30 seconds. The 30s, what second. did I say? 23? Did I flip it? 32. 32nd, yeah. We're just saying that's a big deal. It's like a the fact big that it's been 32 seasons. Seasons. That's nuts. It debuted on the Alphabet Network last night with 14 new stars, and there could be some early front runners, mm -hmm. starting with a very popular singer. I love him. That's, I do too. That is Grammy winner Jason Mraz doing the cha cha to his own song. Mm -hmm. And this is really good for week one. He got 21 out of 30. He's wonderful. That is real good for night one. Yes, I've seen him in concert and he is a wonderful dancer. Like one of those singers where you're surprised that he's like a double or triple threat like that. So yeah. I'm not surprised he's a front runner. Because you think of him as like just a singer songwriter, exactly. like just with a little ukulele or something, but I'm he has rhythm. I'm excited to see what happens once they get into some of the more modernish type thing. Cause you know, he can also kind of like pop lock and do some modern yeah. dance too. That I'm very excited to see what Jason does on this show. Uh, yeah, well, mm -hmm. Vanderpump rule star, Ariana Maddox, Remember, she was the one caught up in that scandal. Mm -hmm. Scandal, yeah. Also scored 21. Check mm -hmm. her out. Pretty good, right, audience? Yeah. yeah. Executive producer Jeff thinks she's going to take it all. That's some good chemistry I, for night one. Good chemistry. Good chemistry. I'm going to say either Ariana's going to take the whole thing, I'll make a night one bet, okay. or Mraz. I think okay. Mraz could take it all. I'm not going to dispute either of those choices. Okay. That's You're right. not going to lay any money I'd down? I'd like to argue with you, but not on that one. Exactly. I agree with you on that one. Yeah. Well, not I'm just glad that, that Tyra Banks is gone. Well, I have a caveat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's gone. Everyone is. Yeah, uh, she was people not on host. Saturn are glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, not everyone had a great night, including, mm. oh, this broke mm. my heart, especially for people our age, mm -hmm. uh, because he is real, not ugly. Right. Uh, we're talking about Tyson Beckford. Model, look at Tyson. Mm. That he managed to unsexy himself. Like, then that, he dashed all of my pre. Like, when I was a kid, I was like, oh my God, he is so sexy. Now I'm like, maybe not. Maybe okay, not. you lost me. That was awful. Okay, you lost me there. I'd still sleep with him. I'm just saying, yeah. You I mean, know yeah, why yeah, I yeah. I'm yeah. not. I'm not now, because look at those moves. You don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> oh, no, I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be fine. <laughs> He got a 12 out of 30. That was charity. And what you didn't, audience, a TV audience at home, what you did not hear is the studio audience. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Tyson was on screen for like four seconds and the audience started laughing. I mean, like, he took one move and the studio audience had a reaction. The bottom two came down to reality star Mario Umansky and Veep star Matt Walsh. And in the end, Matt went home. Mm -hmm. I love, look. 
This isn't Matt's forte. No. I love him in V, but this I'm isn't. I'm glad he was here. It was nice to see him, and he's very funny. And yeah, but no, it just it, and awkward. We got to go, but I know Tyra's gone, and we're happy about that. But Julianne Huff has to grow on me because mm. her microphone, it, it was like she was screaming at us. It, would anybody else feel that way? Write me because <laughs> I, oh, anyway. Okay. Next, just when you thought award shows couldn't get any longer, oh, they are. The Golden Globes, yeah. The Golden Globes is adding two new categories. The first is for cinematic and box office achievement. What this means, everybody, basically honoring the most successful movies of the year, uh, the ones that normal people actually see, uh, earning more than $150 million. That's a criteria. And another new award will honor best stand-up comedy on TV. <laughs> Yes. Either as an individual <laughs> or part of a group. <laughs> Nominations for this year's Globes will be announced in December. The selfish side of me is good with the second one. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Now I got a chance at a Golden Globe. I'm that's right. I'll make a special. That's right, because for our that's why this is your first time with our new cities. Yes. Shannon, Leo, take her beautiful close-up. Shannon is a hugely successful stand-up. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you. you all of y'all in Orlando and in Iowa, you need someone to host something, call her. Yes, right please there. do. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. She's not available right now, but she's busy, <laughs> but yeah. Maybe next week. Maybe That's next right. Week. Yeah. Much more to come, but first, be sure to sign up for tickets to join us in our studio audience. They are completely free. Head to eventbrite.com and search for The Jason Show. You're in by 930 Central, and we get you out of here by 1130. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. to go. We're less than a week to, uh, to go until a very special hour of our show. We're raising awareness for breast cancer with an audience takeover on Monday full of women and men impacted by breast cancer. Uh, and you might have seen the commercials if you're here locally. Mm -hmm. We're selling a really special edition uh, t-shirt raising money uh, for a great cause. The shirt is available now on our online Jason Show swag shop. Mm -hmm. As part of our partnership with OBGYN West, all proceeds from each shirt will sold will be benefiting the Hope Chest for Breast Cancer. They help believe alleviate the financial burden of breast cancer treatment. See the QR code, uh, just aim your camera and get that shirt and we'll see you on Monday. You're gonna love it. Yeah, very different hour for us, but I think you're gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Well, up next, they're the pop culture figurines that you see just about <laughs> everywhere these days, including my desk. This is uh, my mini collection of uh, Funko Pop uh, figures outside of our Jason Show offices, except for E.T. He's not a legit one. Anyway, no. uh, E.T. is a special edition one there. Well, now, here's the deal. You can create a Funko Pop of yourself. Yes. Joining us live via Zoom with more is the Vice President of Retail and Pop Yourself at Funko. <laughs> Give it up for Dave Murray, everybody. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Dave, Dave, uh, Dave already knows how to work the studio audience. That's right. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Thanks for having me. What do you think? Let me start with a, a 37,000 foot question. What is it about these things? What is it about Funko Pops that captivates us? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we have over a thousand different active licenses. So, you know, your fandoms may be different than mine, but we can connect uh, together through Funko Pop, sharing in that, which I think makes our community so strong and what has made the brand uh, resonate with so many different people. Uh, Dave, is that you behind you? <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry. I love it. That's probably the best shot of a guest we've had in a long time. Uh, yeah. All of the licenses, uh, Dave, you, you, mentioned, or you mentioned how many licenses. Do you know how many figurines are just available? How many do you have? I, I don't know that off the top of my head, but it's it's thousands mm -hmm. that are currently available that aren't vaulted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just so tell the folks about pop yourself. How, how do people do it? Yeah, so I mean pop yourself is unique for us because and it's the number one thing that fans ask. We have all these different licenses, but it's now fan an opportunity for fans uh, to become a pop themselves. Uh, and it's really easy to do. You just go to Funko.com. Go into our uh, 3D builder, you pick your hairstyle, uh, your body type, your clothes, you know, your accessories, your name goes on the box, it ships to you in less than a week, um, so a super fun personalized gift. 
And it's just, and it's so, the likeness, Dave, I gotta hand it to you. We got this in the mail yesterday and the, my executive producer sent it to me. The level of details you guys do, um, we, we're showing it right now. It's really good, Dave. Yeah. Uh, that, that's great. Uh, you know, we spend a lot of time. We, at the end of the day, this is people, and we need to make sure that people see themselves in this product. So while we love the assortment we have today, it's going to continue to evolve as we go forward. There we go. I'm modeling myself right here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. What are some of the, I know you don't know the nut with in, into the thousands. Is there, is there a, an IP, is there a property that you guys have that is just the most popular in the top 10? Is it Star Wars? Is it Marvel? What do you see a lot of traction with? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, there's a lot that's tied to content. Um, so if something, a movie's popular, uh, we'll see that spike. But yeah, over, you look at the course uh, since Pop launched, I mean, it's been the heavy hitters. It's been Marvel, it's been Star Wars, it's been Core Disney, it's been Universal, it's been Warner Brothers. I mean, we have great relationships across those uh, licensors that have really driven um, the business up until this point. How many do you have in your office? <laughs> I, I probably got like 300. I got enough shelves <laughs> for everything. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to collect some here, so I love it. I love it. Dave, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for the, thanks for the pop at Jason. Yeah, thank you. So, <laughs> so I know we all want to make one, so go to, go, uh, to head to funco.com for more information. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, can you throw me the hipster Jason real quick? Yeah. Bring over the hipster Jason. I want you guys to see this one. Yeah. Hipster he Jason so has cool. brown hair. I don't know what happened with that, but he this is, is cooler than you ever will be. That's like, <laughs> yes. He is so yeah. cool. Shannon is Shannon's known me for like 30 oh, years. Yeah, there we right. go. I'm like, I've there, known you since you there, were supposed to be that cool yeah. and you weren't that cool. Shannon is right. I this is way <laughs> cooler than I will ever, ever be. Yeah, right there. Okay. I have about 50. I think I have. 50? 50 Funko Pops. Yeah. Yeah. I want more in the office as a little background for us. But yeah. anyway, thanks, Dave. More just for you now. Yeah. That was great. Another great interview this week uh, on Stern, on Howard Stern, on Sirius XM. Hi, Howard. Love you. Uh, yesterday, Anderson Cooper sat down to chat with Howard about his life and career. One of his audience, one of his best stories that Anderson told involved his friendship with, yes, Prince. Ooh. For years, he would invite me to watch, see him play. At a, he said, he like, I throw parties, you should come. I was like, I would totally come to Prince's house. And uh, I would get messages every now and then, like, oh, Prince is having a party tomorrow, can you come? I'd be like, I'm in New York, I can't, like, I don't, I don't have a plane, I can't just go, like, I work. Musicians have no concept <laughs> of what the real world is. <laughs> no, none, none. Well... Anderson finally got the chance to see Prince perform in New York, but ended up bailing on him. Oh. Watch. One of his people came over to me and said, Prince would like you to stay afterward because uh, he'd like to talk to you about the financial crisis. This was like in 2008. And it got to, he kept playing and playing, and it was like 2 a.m. then and like 2.30. And I was like, I got to get out of here. I finally had to leave, and I, I had to go to his person and be like, I, I, I have to work at like 6 a.m. tomorrow. I, I can't stay to talk about the financial crisis. <laughs> it's, it is quintessential Prince. Yes, right. It is so Prince. For Did anybody who doesn't live in Minnesota, all of us that like grew up here and been here since college, that was our life. You'd get a message that said, yeah. he's performing at Paisley Park. You oh. would drive out there, get there at 2 This isn't a joke, everybody. No, for real. You'd get there at 2 a.m. and lean up against the wall while his DJ spun and Prince would come out at like 4 a.m. And you're like, I'm just going to have to be tired tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. that's how I sincerely. It? Yeah, that's the story. And local folks have heard the story before, but for our new friends, um, I don't mind saying this. I think I had the best first day of any first day of any <laughs> yeah. job ever. I really did. When I die, mm -hmm. it'll be one of the images that go, ah. Uh. Anyway, um, so I got to Fox, I, I, my first day at Channel 9, mm -hmm. I was a producer for an entertainment segment called The Buzz, hosted mm -hmm. by a legendary anchor here, Robin Robinson. Mm -hmm. Robin and Prince were dear, dear friends. Mm -hmm. And Robin had an interview scheduled. So I walk into this building for the very first time, I am 23 years old, I look like I'm 11, mm -hmm. and I walk in with my new little suit, and I walk, <laughs> anyway, I don't even think I wore a suit, and an old gravelly photographer <laughs> who I love, uh, he's since retired, uh, Steve Painovich looks at me and he goes, 
are you the new kid? <laughs> and I go, yeah. He goes, get in the car. And I go, okay. And we get in the car. We drive to Paisley Park mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. interview Prince. Mm -hmm. Day one. Mm -hmm. Day one. So I'm just standing there. I didn't interview him. I'm just standing there. And Robin <laughs> walks in, cool as Robin is. Robin looked at Prince. She goes, what up, little dude? <laughs> Because that's Robin called yeah. him Little Dude. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. how close they were. Yeah. Only Robin could call him Little Dude. Right. And I'm standing going, what the <laughs> hell is this? What kind of wackadoodle first day is this? I'm in Paisley Park. There's purple rain. And yeah. And Robin's just like, we just Robin couldn't have cared. Robin no. was so chill about exactly. it. They sat down and did a two-hour interview. Mm -hmm. Next up, one of the most loved TV uh, shows of the 80s is finally coming to streaming. So mm. many of you sent this to me because you know I love this kind of stuff. Remember this show? Some Best themes ever. Moonlighting, y'all, starring Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd as Aww. private detectives. All 67 episodes will hit Hulu on October 10th. Aww. The show is considered one of the first dramedies in TV history, mixing drama with comedy. The creator of the show says he finally convinced Disney to get the rights to the music used on the show. That was what if you uh, if you ever have a show that you're like, why isn't that on streaming? Eight times out of ten, it comes down to music rights. And the rumor goes, this song right here by Al Jarreau, this was one of the major sticking points, right. this song in particular. What excellent timing with all of the health challenges that uh, Bruce Willis is dealing with right uh, now. This thank is you. a wonderful time for us to be able to see the show now. And all of you, yeah, yeah. great point. Great. Mm -hmm. All... All the young folks out there, I think it holds up. I haven't seen it in a while. It might hold up, but go watch it. Most of it should. Most of it I don't should. I remember it being that edgy. No. Yeah. It has one of my favorite episodes of all TV. So they did one where they were speaking in iambic pentameter and did the Shakespeare thing. That's one of my favorite episodes of all TV series. I have of all never time. seen that one. I'm glad you'll get to watch it. I'll tell you which one it is. I'll look at okay, the perfect. It's fabulous. It'll be coming to Hulu, everybody. And now, by the way, since we're talking about shows that need to be on streaming, Leo, mm -hmm. uh, we're on five. Hi, Warner Brothers. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Once you get done with the strikes, I know you're very busy, D uh, David Asloff, but please bring Knott's Landing to streaming. Ooh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Small ass. He's I mean, small ass. Oh, come on. You all have money. Pay for the music rights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lisa Hartman music is, you call Lisa Hartman and say, <laughs> I want the music rights. Uh, put Knott's Lisa Hartman was on the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done now. <laughs> I mean, what's the fun of having a show if you can't make pleas like that? Exactly, yeah. right. That's your platform. Do that. Thank you. Yes. Get not landing on streaming. <laughs> uh, time to meet our uh, first JVIP of the week. Each week we feature an at-home fan of our show. Today it's Greg from East Bethel. Greg works at home. <laughs> Greg looks like he's not sure why he watches our show. <laughs> Greg works at home and says Kendall and I are entertaining and fun five days a week. Thank nice. you, buddy. We really appreciate that. <laughs> he gets a Jason Show mug. Also, he's entered to win our monthly grand prize. That includes being a VIP guest in our studio audience, $150 gift card to Becker Furniture World, and $150 gift card to the Institute of Advanced Aesthetics. <gasps> Stay right there. Go get some more waffles, a sandwich. <laughs> we'll be back after these words. Back in a moment. Coming up in just a little bit, my buddy Colleen Lindstrom is back, telling parents it's okay to be okay. Just okay. Just you know, I was a little leery. And a little bit later, Miss Shannon is a fish out of water this time. Hey, fish. Hey, fishy, fishy, fishy. Learning to fish for the very first time. Come on, fish. And it is a rocky Let's boat, go. let me tell you. Oh, that and more when the Jason Show continues. Oh, it's our buddy. Welcome back to the show. Well, I don't need to tell you this, but I'm going to. Everyone is busy these days. Uh, I love when people go, I'm very busy. Yeah, girl, we all are. Anyway, uh, and that can be especially true for parents, from driving them to soccer practice to making sure they get their homework done on time. It can be non-stop. The last thing you may be thinking about is finding time to get away from the kids, but 
maybe you should. Joining us to talk about the importance of dating your spouse is one woman who is never, ever, ever afraid to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly of parenting. Our good friend, welcome Colleen Lindstrom. Hi. Welcome back. How are you? I love it. This is your debut. I love it's Shannon's and your debut with our new friends in Orlando I and love it. Iowa. Hello, and, Orlando. I love you. And Madison. We love the Madison. And Madison. I love Madison. My brother lives there. There. Hi, Hi brother. Chris. Anyway, I uh, I love this topic. Yeah. Um, because it is hard to do. I don't. I don't even have kids, and it's hard to remember this. Yeah, and it's not just for people with kids. Honestly, um, Matt and I, my husband of 21 years. Thank you very much. 21, girl. That's that's the, right there. It's wild. Hi. Look at me. Oh, look oh, at that. Look at babies. Yes. Oh. Um, we made we made a point of this from the time we were dating. Let's never stop dating. And I don't think I realized how important or meaningful that was really going to be um, until very recently like you said it gets busy with kids and we made a point of it from the beginning of our relationship before we even got married let's go on a date at least once a week and we have held to that have you yeah and so I know you're freaking out like oh my gosh because we're real friends yeah this? people are yeah we're we're legit friends so i do know clean in that way yeah. i did not know this we always have and it doesn't now this is why you get tripped up because you're like wait a minute you go out every week no we don't a date is not in our in our house is not necessarily going out sitting down for dinner going to a movie it doesn't have to be grandiose like that and actually often a date at our house is literally just hey everybody we're going to be in this area of the house. Leave us alone. And maybe we're watching a television show. Maybe we're just sitting and chatting. Maybe we're making a dinner that's just for us and not for the kids. And you don't get to come in. And we're going to sit down at the table. And we're going to eat together. And we're going to have adult conversation. But connecting with your spouse and making a point of that reminds you of why you fell in love in the first place. Aww. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Because you get so wrapped up in the minutia of the day. The, you know, who's going to make dinner? What do you want for dinner? Nothing where does, sexy about that. No, where does Nothing. kid A, B, and C have to right? be? And you forget to look at your spouse not as a cog in the wheel, right. but as someone that you love. Yes. Love, not past tense, that you love and you want to be with. Yes, I always say, I mean, and I hope he would say the same thing about me. We can call him in the break if you want yeah, to. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I, I always say he's my favorite person. I want to be around him as much as I possibly can. He's my favorite person to hang out with. He already knows what I'm thinking before I'm thinking it. That level of comfort is there, but just spending that quality time together is so important. It's been vital to our marriage. You said easier to do early. Meaning, what do you mean by that? Start that tradition early in your relationship. Don't wait until you are at a place where you're like, I'm not even really sure I know you anymore. Maybe we should start this dating every week thing. It doesn't it doesn't pack the same punch. Start it early, make it a habit, make it part of your life. What do you, okay, but what do you do if folks are watching right now, they're in, like for me, I mean, we don't do dates every week, but we do mm -hmm. do it. What if uh, Betty from Anoka's watching? Yeah. And she has been with uh, Paul yep. for 15 years. She's gonna think, is it too late to start with never, Paul? Never, ever. It is never too late to find a different and new way to connect with the person who you love. It's never too late. Do you, did you find almost instant benefits? Does, let me, let me, yeah. this is what I mean by that. When you get ear, does it make it less easy to be irritated by your spouse? Well, uh, you, y'all know what I mean. Because if you can remember, if you can remember yeah. why you love them, when the moments when you do want to slightly poison their food, <laughs> you know what I mean? It yeah. makes those moments shorter? Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think that he and I have also really worked hard on how we communicate with each other. We are not without flaw. Do not do not make that mistake. But I think that we have, we have a better, a shortcut of going, remember we're on the same team here. Like, we're playing on the same team. So let's figure out how to get back on the same page. And I do think we've shortcut that a little bit what do you say to the person that gets the guilt that they want to include their kids in everything they'll be there's time for that too you you'd give them plenty and this actually makes you better able to be present for them when you are in a, a good relationship with your spouse 
that is a great example for your kids. So never feel guilty about spending that time focusing on each other. That is, you're setting an example for them. I was going to say, because if I'm the child, you're, the kid may not verbalize it, but they're subconsciously picking up on for the sure. fact that mom and dad have dates yeah, and mom like and dad other. actually Weird. like each other. Yeah, yeah. They may not verbalize that. Yeah. So. Yeah, and they're like a kind of embarrassed by it sometimes. Which is fine. Right? We show up at the baseball game and we're holding hands and they're like, oh God. And, <laughs> and I will say, uh, not that you're done raising them, but having known Colleen, let me compliment you, what she has just said works because her children are fantastic. Oh, thank so you. So you, you are amazing. I've all, I mean, Colleen's an amazing mother. Oh, so listen you. to what she says because her kids are perfect. I mean, they're just, <laughs> well, not perfect. No, anyway, not. <laughs> Colleen is sticking around. After the break, we're going to talk about her new website. I'm so proud of her. You're going to love this. All about living the bronze medal life. And what does that mean? That and more after this. search for the Jason show for tickets to our studio audience well over the years on our show you've seen me attempt to go fishing several times again I'm not an outdoorsy person I wasn't an outdoorsy kid from trying to catch walleye on a boat there I am I think the first season of our show to ice fishing with one of the best in the business I've had mixed results and that's putting it mildly well it's Shannon's turn to cast a line, and she te yeah, and she teamed up with the experts from Carl's Fishing and Outdoors. Look at this. Just you know, I was a little leery, <laughs> even when we were driving the boat this far. I was like, maybe I shouldn't have said yes. <laughs> like, the, oh, we'll, we'll keep you safe. Okay, this is Captain, Captain Matt. Captain, Captain, Captain Matt. Captain we Matt. also have Tess. Tess, wave to the camera. Got a thing. Photographer Eric Sun. We have, so to, we have two things. We have to catch fish, and then make sure that we bring photographer Eric Sun back yes. to shore. Is that cool? I think we can accomplish those things. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So where do we start? <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna have you join me up here. Now let me ask. Have you cast a spinning reel before? No. Here, show me that. First. Okay. So <laughs> let's let's start there. Okay. So. Is it one where I have to actually like swing it or yep. just drop it? You will swing, swing it. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. See how I release my finger? Yes. Yeah, so right about... <laughs> I said with confidence. And it's all trial and error. Okay, so all right. You should try and cast okay. here. So, Whoop. yeah, I got you. All right, so I can do it. Whoop! <laughs> no, okay, so now... <laughs> Raise your line. Mm -hmm. Open your bail. Mm -hmm. And then... And then kind of let... Yeah, you got hey. it. There you go. Open and close it. Yes. <laughs> you got it. See, got I didn't even tell you that stuff. All right, uh, well, it's, it, that one, at least I figured that out. Okay, cool. I did that really bad. <laughs> I'm so worried I'm gonna break it. Yes. Oh, I broke it. Like, oh, that did not look right. Oh, no! <laughs> and you can really loft it, you know, when you cast. Okay. Like, get that follow through. See, the reason why I wasn't doing that is I watched a sitcom a million years ago, and they did that, and it, like, caught in, like, the main character's shirt. Wait a minute, Shannon, are you, are you fishing based on your sitcom knowledge? Yes, of course I'm fishing. What other knowledge do I have for fishing? <laughs> That's who was good at this. Bert and Ernie. I remember that. <laughs> so, do, they, do they go fishing? <laughs> they do go fishing. Oh, we should have brought them out. Yes. Ernie was... Um, the same as photographer Eric and shouted at the fish. <laughs> Scaring them all away. No, it actually worked. Fishy, fishy, fishy. All right, give that a shot. Hey, fish. Hey, fishy, oh, fishy, fishy. fishy. Yeah. Okay, Shannon, just like before, except for this time, I want you to catch a fish. I'm working on it. <laughs> Eric, okay. you're so pushy. If you could do it on this cast, too, and I got really good angles. Okay. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. <laughs> Come on, fish. Please, fish. This isn't a competition, but it is a one-hour show. I got to catch something in the next, like, 10 minutes, or I got to Oh, go. so the heat is on. The heat is on. So basically, okay. what we're doing now is we're going for the, the, the fish that are a little more free with who they hang out with. These are the ones that on a dating app just swipe on everybody. I just want to go out to dinner. We don't got to marry you, fish. We're just gonna go on one date. See what's up. They're not afraid of commitment. No. 
I am, though. I am. <laughs> I'm afraid of commitment. I'm going to put you back. I'm going to tell you that already. <laughs> I have a catch and release policy with people that I date, too. So I'm familiar with that part. If I catch one, don't worry. You don't have to stay. No. Like, just show up to one event so my friends stop thinking I'm not trying. That's it. <laughs> Looked a little bit like a little fish nibble. That's what I thought. We're just gonna keep trying. Right. Oh, oh, oh! You got something? Yeah. Hey! Come on, Lindsay. <laughs> Let's go! Oh no! Oh, bomber! Hey, Shannon, I'm not the expert, but are you supposed to get him in the boat? Oh, I mean, you, Lindsay, for real? Like you can see it, like. Coming up, that 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 moment of joy. And I think I would have been just as happy if you had gotten that fish than if I had gotten one myself. It's a team effort. <laughs> a team effort to not get any fish. <laughs> well, sometimes the company was worth it. Sometimes it's about the experience. Eric, ask your son. Quick, point to all the fish you caught. Stop it! Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's photographer Eric's son. Um, Eric has been my friend a long time, but he's also one of those people who parents and friends via sarcasm. Yes. So it's just like, go away. Was I'm that, already bad at this. Don't help. Was that honestly the first time you've ever yeah. went fishing? Yes. Did you like it? I did. I had a good time. Did I would you? do it again. And they were all great. And it was it was very soothing. And one of the best things about it, because we were over in like Burnsville. Yeah. So it was I'm not, I'm like you, I'm not outdoorsy. I'm no. out. I'm outsidey. I'm yeah. outsidey. I like yeah. being outside yeah. and then going back in. So it is a great place to be outsidey. It was fun. And you were in an area. We were, we were looking at the houses. There were some nice houses. Yes. You weren't in a creek. No. You were by. No. <laughs> there were mansions and then <laughs> lazy fish. <laughs> <laughs> Those were like Louis Vuitton fish. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> Thanks again to Carl's Fishing and Outdoors for helping Shannon out. We're going to take a break. We'll be back after this. Back in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> those, those fish were like, we ain't doing nothing. Welcome back to the show. Oh. It is time for the world's shortest segment. <laughs> A dream come true for fans of Shrek. A new listing on Airbnb is a replica of Shrek's swamp home. That's right. You can find it in the Scottish Highlands starting next month. Up to three guests. Look at it right there, everybody. Up to three guests can request uh, to book a free two-night stay. Before you book, you should know there's no kitchen or bathroom. Instead, it sticks with the original concept, putting a toilet, sink, and shower in an outhouse outside. Yep. That's right. Absolutely not. I'll we'll be right back. It. No, no, bye. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 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 
glad you're here. As I mentioned at the top of the show, Shannon is a hugely successful stand-up, and you have some uh, an, a great event coming up, a great yes, benefit. Yes, I'm going to be the uh, MC and auctioneer for an organization in town called Simpson Housing Services, and they have an event coming up on October 6th called Music for Shelter. So if you go to musicforshelter.org, you can also support all of our uh, uh, unhoused and homeless community here in the Twin Cities and come to a great show. So it's me, uh, Nerdy, uh, Sophia Aris, Lady Midnight is going to be a soup, and the suburbs are performing and you get to support some real, uh, wonderful organizations. Great show if you're here locally, mm -hmm. here in the Twin Cities. It's going to be great, mm -hmm. sincerely. Go Aaron Schwab. I had a heart attack with half those names. If, I know, yeah. That's if you just want to give us some money, too, you can still go to musicforshelter.org <laughs> and just donate to the organization, right. too. So it's great. You, yeah. you can, no matter where you are, you can just, just give donate that money. some money. Yeah, That's right. exactly. Tomorrow, Wine Basics with Leslie Miller. Mm -hmm. Why you should not match the color of your wine to your food. Mm -hmm. Plus the TV show that I cannot stop talking about. I'll tell you what it is tomorrow. But right now, that's going to do it for us. If you're watching and you're a kid that's being bullied, you go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. That was wonderful. Thank you so much oh, for having oh my God. Fabulous. Fabulous. I was like, this will be a highlight. My mother wanted to see the outfit.